Yes, Megan like... Whitaker takes people whale watching off the coast of Iceland. A dream job for the marine biologist. It's one of the main attractions for tourists here, but they need to be patient. Whitaker spotted something. A minke whale is eating its way through a school of fish. The whale only stays at the surface for a few moments. With a bit of luck, the guests may even catch sight of a much larger humpback whale. In the same waters where the tourists are shooting their photos, others are whale hunting. For Whitaker, a cruel business. These animals, they have skin like us, it has nerves, it can feel this pain. So there's a harpoon that goes into the whale, an explosion and then they bring these whales on board. So it can take, you know, 30 minutes up to an hour for these whales to die. It's a long, painful process. Iceland's only whaling station lies hidden at the end of a fjord far from Reykjavik. The whale catchers have bagged a fin whale, the second largest mammal on Earth, and listed as an endangered species. Disgusting. Animal activists record the stripping of the 40-ton whale's blubber Viga Thorthar is an Icelandic activist working to stop the killing of whales. She posts photos and videos on the internet, hoping to inspire others to act against whaling, mainly her own countrymen. This is not a tradition here, really. It started with Norwegians doing it. We have, we have longer tradition of eating kale in Iceland and growing kale. So, eat kale, not whale. The whaling company owner places no value on such criticism. As a teenager, he harpooned whales from his father's boat and ate the meat. And if you go to the museum, you will find... Whale meat is, is, is good. It's, a, it's the only meat without any hormones. I can guarantee you that. But there, it's been banned in all EU and uh, US and uh, due to some uh, reasons. But if this sentiment is going to take over here, I don't think, I think Iceland will be, uh, will not be existing as an independent nation in a couple of years if you're going to use that argument. These anti-everything groups, they want to ban all fisheries. They are protesting everything, you know. Let them live! Let them live! These demonstrators outside the parliament building in Reykjavik aren't protesting everything, only for protection for the endangered fin whales. Surveys show more and more Icelanders oppose whaling. The government could end the hunt at any time. Instead, it granted Lofsson's whaling company a permit to kill 191 fin whales in 2018. The uncle of our finance minister is the CEO for the whaling company. So if this doesn't scream corruption, I don't know what does. But uh, we have other parties in parliament and they are against whaling. And I hope that it will be forbidden by law to whale in Iceland. Hardly anything is left of the giant fin whale at the station. The meat has generally been sold to Japan, the only export market for it. Christian Lofsson has a new business idea. He wants to make a compound to treat iron deficiency. We plan to freeze dry the meat, and you get about 30% of the meat. That will be then ground down in powder and, and used as a food supplement, either as a pill or as a, just as a powder. Marine biologist Megan Whitaker reacts to such business ideas with sheer horror. Just looking at all the other threats these animals face, uh, it will take a long time for us to rectify. Um, whaling is something we can stop here and now, um, and there's absolutely no need for it. It's just a pointless, harmful industry. Recently, the hunting of minka whales, at least, was halted. Uh, it's a key victory for Iceland's conservationists in their fight against whaling.